Hey there everybody, this is Ira, and I'm back here with another new indie game. This one is, is really quite new, it just came out, uh, I think about a week ago now. Uh, it's called Islanders. As you can see, this is made by Grizzly Games, which is the same people, the same developers who made uh, Superflight. And, um, yeah, uh, this is not a blind first look, because when I got the game I couldn't help myself. I had to jump in and give it a try, and you'll see my high score right there. Um, let's look at the options. It's pretty, it's pretty simple stuff, but they've got uh, several different languages you can choose from. Um, I've already done the tutorial. I'm not going to do the tutorial. I'm just going to kind of show you guys a quick look at the game. Tooltips, uh, drag camera. They've got um, plenty of video options. They've got plenty of audio options. And you can rebind the controls. So basically everything that you would want from a game like this. Um, I can't really think of anything else in terms of accessibility that you would need. And in any case, the game is very, very relaxed. Um, this is this is not a uh, challenging game. I mean, there, there's some challenge to it. You can challenge yourself, you can try to get high scores, but this game isn't so much about the strategy as just about relaxing. Um, so I'm gonna click, I'm gonna click continue. This is actually a new game. Well, I'll hit the, I'll hit the new game button, but basically when you, uh, when you start a new game, it'll generate a new island for you. As far as I can tell, these are procedurally generated. Um, they're beautiful. Everything about this game is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, and when, when you look at this game on Steam or something, it looks like kind of a city builder, and it is sort of a city builder. Uh, but it's, it's not complex. It's got very simple rules. So, um, here's your score, and this will fill up, and you'll unlock more stuff, and this is uh, another thing. When this fills up, you can go to the next island. So when you see this little plus, you can click that and you get a pack of buildings. You can either start with a lumber pack here. These are kind of random which ones you get. So I'm being given the choice of a lumber pack or a farming pack. And um, I'm looking around my island. By the way, WASD to move the camera around and Q and E to rotate. I, the first thing I did was I rebound Q and E and I swapped them. Uh, originally, this would be E and this would be Q and I like it the other way. So this is Q for me and this is E for me. <laughs> Whatever you like, you can, you can bind it. It's very easy to do. Um, but it is very cool that the camera works kind of no matter what menu you're in. Even if you're in the menu of the game, you can still look around your island. Um, there is a lot of sand on this little tiny baby island. And not a lot of grass. So I've played a little bit and I kind of know what buildings can go where. We don't have a lot of trees. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use the lumber pack. See, again, I have a little bit of of knowledge of what's to come. And as you play the game and you get used to what buildings do what and what buildings get points from what, you can start to learn how to group your buildings a little bit more optimally and get higher scores. Um, I hope I'm not making anyone dizzy, by the way. I apologize if I am. It's just so fun to kind of swoop around and look. So we've got um, two lumberjack buildings and a sawmill. Now you see there's all kinds of data popping up. Don't be scared. That just lets you know how you gain points with this thing. So I've got two Lumberjacks, but you'll see at the bottom, it loses six points for every other Lumberjack in range. Now this is only when you place the building. So after, you know, um, it, it gets, for example, a point for every tree. Um, but you can remove those trees later and you don't lose the points as far as I can tell. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. So this will gain five points for every sawmill. The sawmill will gain seven points for every Lumberjack. I've got two Lumberjacks, so it makes sense to place these first. So what you do is you move them around the map, and it's very clear. I mean, there's very little to explain or anything. Now, I can stick this right in the middle and catch all of those trees, but then I'm not going to have room for that other lumberjack. They're going to be kind of overlapping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of move it to the side a bit. It means I'm going to get less points for this one, but I'll get more points overall. I think I can get away with maybe being as far as, as here. Stick that one down. And then I get the other one. And I just want to make sure that it's, if I put it here, you see there's a red number over that one. Because it's going to take six points away. We don't want that. We want all those delicious points. As soon as you get out of range of that, you can get a, a higher score. So I think ten is probably the highest I can go there. By the way, you can use the mouse wheel and rotate these. It's mostly for aesthetics, but sometimes it can be a little strategic. Uh, yeah, there we go. So we've got those two. And uh, we've got all those points. And we've already completed the ring. So we've unlocked some more. Now I can place this now, or I can get my next set of buildings. So I'm gonna do that. See what we have to work with. Mm. More, these both require farmland. I'm gonna go with the 
farming pack because I think the farm fields are smaller than the hop fields for the brewery. And I'm not going to get far enough in this tiny little island that I'm going to need a, like a tavern or anything like that. So I don't need the brewery. I'm going to take the farming pack. So you'll get the buildings that they listed and you also get some bonus buildings each time. So that you have a little bit more to play with. Now let me see, can I place these? I cannot place these on the sand. These are going to have to go up here. And as you see, if you place them over certain things like rocks and trees, it destroys them. So you can't use those for points later. So you gotta manage your natural resources, folks. Stick it out here on these little islands, but they're not gonna get much there. I really need some stuff that I can put down in the sand. By the way, these statues, most islands will start with at least one of these statues. And they just give bonus points to whatever you place near them. Occasionally, you get the chance to place the statues where you want to. And that's pretty fun. Um, right click, by the way, will deselect whichever one you're looking at. And this is the mill, and it will get... Four points for every field near it. Field will get five points for a mill, so I'll, I want to place the fields first if I can. But first, I am going to place a couple of sawmills, I think. Now these, as before, they will lose points for other sawmills in range, but they'll gain points for other lumberjacks in range. So if I can get two spaces where they both have both lumberjacks in range, but without the other sawmill in range... Oh no, I don't think I can. Shucks. Hmm, I think I'm going to be able to only get one. Yeah, all right. Uh, I'll tuck this out of the way here then. You can't move or remove buildings once they're placed, by the way. Is there any way I can tuck this in here a little more neatly? Or is that the best? No, I guess that's the best I can do. There we go. So that's close to the statue and the, the lumberjack, so let's get 11 points there. You see the little points go, and they jump down, and they fill up your circle. It's lovely. Oh. It's just such a relaxing game. Like, I, I fell in love with it instantly. I mean, I knew as soon as I saw it I was going to be in love with it. This is not surprising. Um, but it is really, really spectacular. So I want to place down these fields close to each other, because they give each other points, and also leave some space for the mill. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to see how big is the footprint for that mill. It's pretty small. It's pretty small. So I can, uh, I can maybe, if I stick the mill, for example, here, that's got almost this entire plateau... This whole, almost this entire hill within its range. So if I place the fields down anywhere in that area, uh, that'll be fine. I'm going to stick them up here, so I'm next to the statue, and then I get the bonus, bonus statue points. Everyone loves statue points, you guys. Everyone loves statue points. There's a little bit of kind of snapping in place as well. If you, if you, like, if you get up to the edge, it won't push it over the edge until you go much further, which is really, it's really handy for getting stuff right where you like, right where you like it. This one's not lining up perfectly with the other two. I'm telling ya. So yeah, we can get 10 from here, but if I go in closer, I can get 12. So, I mean, I mean, this is basically the game. I mean, it doesn't really get much more complicated than this. Oh, I can unlock some more buildings. Let's get a city pack, because a city pack will allow us to build down on the beach. I am going to put down this mill first. Oh, got some more fields. Let's push down the fields first, because those really stack really well in terms of points. Um, alright, I can't get any more close to that statue, so I'll just put the rest of them down here. So now we've got all these fields here, and I stick down the mill. 37 points, just for the mill. Let's rotate that, let's get, let's get the, the face in this way. Oh, it's beautiful. 37 points, just like that. Watch that circle fill up. Oh, it's beautiful! i get some more. Shaman, yeah, let's grab a shaman. And it's also gonna give us a whole bunch of- two city centers we have. A shaman, five mansions, and two houses. Now, it's interesting, the houses and the mansions, you know, they, they give each other points and everything, but there are certain buildings that give bonuses to the mansions uh, that take away from the house, and vice versa. So it's actually better... <laughs> it's actually better to keep the classes in their place. I can't believe I'm saying those words. Um, strategically, it's better to keep the regular houses a little bit separate from the mansions and make little neighborhoods. Uh, the rich neighborhood and the, I guess, kind of average neighborhood. I don't think any of these are um, too bad. Oh, the shamans are really cool. So let's let's put the shaman down. Uh, shaman, you want to get near as much nature as you can. Flowers on the ground, trees. Um, oh, 23. It's giving us all that. Oh my, oh, there's flowers underneath that. 23. Is that the best we can do? There's no time limit in this game. You just kind of like Take your time, move stuff around. 23 points for a shaman. 
Shaman's gonna live out there, pick some herbs, pick some flowers. Brew up some medicines for the people. Alright, so we want to put down the city center. Is this gonna get bonus from anything? It'll get 22 if I stick it up there. 10 or 15 if I put one down here. But I need these to be away from each other, because they will steal points from each other. As you can see, minus 40 if you put it within range of another city center. Nobody wants that. So we'll put one up here, where we've already built some stuff. This right here is, is about as good as, as we can do. Yeah, you don't want it in the range of the shaman. Shaman doesn't want to be anywhere near that city center. Shaman's living a peaceful life out in the woods. So there's one. And we can put the other one down here. I think 15 is maybe going to be as high as we can go. 17 if we go up there, but then it doesn't encompass the beach. And I really want to plan ahead a little bit here. I want to be able to use this beach. Because we can't build uh, much down here. We can put our actual city down here, is what we can do. Ooh, I've got some more. So we've got the fisher and the brewing pack. Again, we're running out of green space for our fields. So I'm going to go for the fisher. It's going to give us a whole bunch more houses and mansions. That's great. Um, let's see. Do either of these get a bonus from having fishers nearby? No. They don't get a penalty either, so that's fine. This wants to be near a city center, warehouse, statue, or hut. I don't have any huts. And I don't have any warehouses. Um, I do have a statue, but it's way up there. I don't know. Oh, we, we can get it in range. We can get it in range. Does it want to be near the city center? Oh, look at that! Oh, that's a good spot right there. We can get that within range of both city centers and the statue. Just just tuck it right in, a, right in that little corner there. There we go. Right up against the cliff. Just a little fisherman friend. I do wish that you could zoom in uh, and get a closer look. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any way to do that. Now, you can see here, I've unlocked the next island. Uh, I'm not going to go yet, because I want to see if I can get some more points on this first island, because your score carries over with you. Now, if you reach a point where you haven't filled the circle, and you haven't filled this, but you run out of buildings, then the game is over. And then you get your, your total score, and then you can start over again. Um, with more knowledge and understanding and experience, we've got a lot more mansions than houses. So, these mansions and houses really aren't worth that much on their own. So what you gotta do is you gotta kind of block them in there all together. Oh, that's not a good shape. It's random what shape you get. There we go. So there we go. Now we got a nice thin one we can slide in there. And now we kind of just Tetris in these buildings together is what I'm doing. Um, you can just kind of see how many how many points we can get. And I do see we have unlock some more. I'm gonna go ahead and use these up. Can I get that in? Oh, I can. 12 points for that one. Get 14. 6. Interesting. Okay. Obviously I want 14. I know this is fascinating dialogue, but this is... That's, that's why I'm enjoying this game so much, I think, is because you really can just kind of switch off. You just, like, relax, fiddle around with it, and you see how many points you can get. Um... Like, I had, a real, I had a long day at work today, everyone. I had a long, stressful day. I've had a long, stressful time lately. And I came home, and I was just like, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to play Islanders. Because I love it. It makes me happy. So this fountain gets points for all the mansions that are nearby, and all the houses that are nearby. So what I want to do is I want to figure out where I'm going to put it. Maybe, like, right here. Okay? Keep a mental note of that. And then I'm going to build around that. So I'm not going to get that many points for these buildings. This is my strategy. I have no idea if this is optimal in any way, shape, or form. But now I've got 40 points there. Um, I think I'm not going to put the houses down there. I'll just stick the fountain down, and that's going to unlock some more stuff. I know there's a steam achievement if you get 800 points in the first island. I don't know if I'm going to manage that, because it's, it's a teeny tiny little island. Oh, we got all kinds of stuff on this one. So we can't use that same trick of sticking the fish over there, because look, they steal points from each other. I only get 11 points. So I can get 12 if I come out here. Just, just fly around. 14. 14's pretty good. I think that's probably going to be the best we can do. Let's go for 14 right here. There we go. Uh, we got another shaman. We can't put the shamans next to each other, so I can't really take advantage of this little spot again. And we can't put them near the city center, so now the shamans aren't going to do as well. Because our island's getting crowded, you know? We can get 12. 12 is pretty good. Stick a shaman right there in the corner. 
Well, it's not bad when we got all this all this population here. Okay, the huts want to be near city centers, statues, shamans, and fishers. And they've got quite a range, and they do lose points for all these lumberjacks, but I don't think there's really much we can do about that at this point. Because if we go far enough away that those aren't in range, the other stuff is also not in range. So what do we got? We can, we can get up to, I just saw 18. 17, 19, oh, I saw 19. Trying to, trying to maximize our pointage here. Yeah, I think that's probably the optimal location for that hut. Oh, I'm doing well, everyone. Doing really well. Um, hmm. This is another tough one, because again, both of these need grass. I might go for the brewing pack and just kind of knock out these trees, because I don't think I'm going to get too much with the parks. They want to be near buildings, but the buildings are on the, the sand. Let's go for this. Oh, wow, we got all kinds of stuff. So we got one hop field. Um, this will get a bonus from the statue, and that's it, I think. I don't think anything else. Oh, these can grow on sand. I didn't realize. I did not realize. Well, you know what? We got one lumberjack. Let me use this one last lumberjack, if there's even anywhere I can put it. Ten. I think ten is probably the best I can do, right? Oh, I just saw thirteen? Come on, where were you? Thirteen. I think thirteen's probably the best we're gonna do here. Do that. And now we can kinda not worry about the trees anymore. Hmm. I mean, if I, if I put the hot fields down on the sand, what do they get points from? Statue, the brewery, that's this. Resort Oasis. <laughs> And other hop fields. Uh, we don't have any resorts. And this just wants hop field statue warehouse. So yeah, these don't really need to be up near the other fields. We can just grow these down on the sand. Why not? Was I getting something more? I was getting nine up here. Oh, because of the statue. How many do they... Th these get four from a brewery. Brewery gets five from a hop field. This gets four from a statue. Because if I put it up there again, we we're getting more points now. Then I'm not planning in advance. So I am going to go ahead, I think, and sacrifice those points. And start my little plantation down here. And then I can start building the buildings down here. And if I do get far enough to get a tavern, then we can have the brewery within range. And that does good things for your tavern's points. Okay, phew. I thought that wasn't going to let me build on the, on the beach here. Alright. Eight. We get twelve up here. Again, that will put it out of the range of the houses. And other fields. It's such a tiny little island. Hmm. I got. I got to make a decision. All right. I'll leave. I'll leave it down here because I'm gonna. I'm gonna want more fields, potentially. All right. Can we stick this fisher anywhere where it'll be actually useful? Thirteen is pretty good. Let's go for that. Now these ones. Do they get any benefit? They don't get any benefit from the hop fields or anything. Actually, I might not even... Oh, I've got ten houses. Do you have ten houses? Alright. So I'm going to start a house neighborhood over on this side. So these are houses as opposed to mansions. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is this is fine. Unlock some more buildings there. Hooray! Now here's the plateau. This is an interesting one. Because this builds like a big elevated platform. You can build it on the water if you want. And there's a lot of stuff that gets bonuses from being built on or next to a plateau. But they don't um, kind of play well with the other stuff. They kind of make an awkward situation and they need a lot of room. They are useful if you have a tiny island, though, and you can build out into the ocean. So that's what I'm going to do here. We'll just go ahead. Get it yeah, right about there. Okay. I'm not even going to bother with this lumberjack at the moment. Because I don't think I'm going to get much for it. And as a matter of fact, I think we're probably pretty close to, uh, pretty close to done in this case. So let's see. We had, oh, we've got 19 here. Let's go ahead and see if we can get, yeah, yeah. Oh, those are good points. Look at those good points. I love it. Let's just take a moment now and look at our beautiful little, little, little island. It's really lovely already. We've got like our, our natural resources up here. We've got our people living on the beach. 
I mean, this is a resort town already. We don't need any other other resort resort buildings. Let's sneak this in. Oh, oh, I saw a six. <laughs> Sometimes it can be tough to get it exactly where you want it. Get these houses over here. I try to kind of Tetris them together so that there's not too much space between them. You know? Oh, 11. Oh, it's from the plateau. You see that? It gets three extra points from the plateau. Oh my goodness, we've got more buildings. A tower! Oh, these are good. Towers will give you a lot of points if you place them around a lot of houses and stuff. Um, yeah. Mason, statue, mansion. I think these have a pretty big range. Yeah, they do. They really do. So that's 21 points if we place it now. Ooh. Um, the mills take points from each other. But I really can't plant this down here. So we might just have to not build those mills at the moment. And it might be time to say goodbye to the, uh... I think it's the range on the mill. Oh, it's pretty big. It's pretty big, you guys. Uh, and they can't be built on the sand either. Alright, let's put down the rest of these fields. I think it's time to say goodbye to the trees. Sorry, trees. You've outlived your usefulness. Um, and then we can get enough points from these uh, fields that it makes up for... Or at least partly makes up for the points being stolen by the other mill. How far out this way can I put that and still get that? Okay, that's pretty good. I can put the other one over here and get the same number of points. That's actually quite beautiful. There we go. Fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. Are we there yet? Oh, not quite. But that's okay, because we still have this tower. Let's put down the rest of the houses. I'm going to start kind of sneaking them over near the plateau, because they get more points that way. There we go. We've got more buildings already. Oh, it's so relaxing. <laughs> I cannot overemphasize how relaxing this game is, and how just nice it, it feels to just sit and, and play it. I mean, I... I'm basically just narrating what I'm doing, because there's not really that much to it, essentially. But, um, it just feels nice to play. There we go, 25 points right there. And I've got some new buildings. Now I've got that warehouse. I'm not going to get the parks, like I said, I'm pretty sure those can't be put down on the, on the uh, sand. Oh, we got another, we got a couple more hop fields. That's great. Support that brewery. Oh, can I not squeeze one in here? Oof. It's gonna be actually tough to, uh, find space for these. Alright. I might have to put, like, a plateau over here. If I can get another- Oh, there is one! Oh, I should've checked what I had before I placed that. I'm gonna put- I'm pretty sure you can put fields on a plateau. And if not, well, then I just wasted it, and that's fine. <laughs> Certainly don't think I cut any points from it. Um... Warehouse. That wants to be near industry, basically. So if we can find a spot for that up here, I think that'll probably be our best bet. And there's not a lot of room up here. There's 33. 32. 39. That looks pretty good to me. 44! Oh, I'm glad that I checked. I'm glad that I checked. Yeah, I'm going there. Excellent, excellent. Get some more buildings. A circus! Hmm. This is gonna be tough, because circuses want to be near houses, but not mansions. And they take up a lot of space. I don't think we could fit one here. I wish I had stuck that plateau over here now. Or saved it until I needed it. But like a fool. Like an overeager fool. I just placed it down as soon as I got it. Well, let's grab it. Let's see what we can do. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a plateau. No, I didn't. <laughs> Can we, can we still get lots of points from huts over here? 16? 17? So I thought I saw 17. Did I see 17? I did. Ooh, it's a real tiny spot. There we go, 17. Um, oh, the circus does fit here. That is perfect. Can I fit it any further over here and get more houses? No, I guess not. I don't even know how I fit that in at all. There we go. Oof. That's very, very precise. That is the only spot where that fits. I guess... That's what's going. Like, I could put it up here, but you see how many points it loses from having the mansions nearby. Alright. 40 points. And you know what? I just got that achievement, you guys. I just got that achievement. I got 800 points on the first island. And there's a market. This is also really big. Um, 
really big and take up an entire plateau. Uh, but that might be a good use of that plateau. 38 there or here? Let's, let's put it here. I just like it better there. How about that warehouse? Hmm, hmm, hmm. 17, 24. Did this before. We did this before, and I feel like I found something better than that. Maybe not. That's alright. Um, what I'm gonna do now... I think I could probably keep going for quite a while here. Uh, but what I would like to do is show you folks the next island. Show you what happens when you go to the next island. So as soon as this lights up, you can move. You don't have to stay. If you want to get the most points possible, then of course you're gonna stay. Until you run out of buildings. Um, but I think that might take me a while, because I'm doing pretty well here. Uh, but yeah, take a look at this beautiful island. It's really lovely. And I like it a lot. And let's see what we get for the next one. Because they can be really, really different. There's no way to return to the current island, but you keep your score. That's okay. Goodbye, beautiful island. I love you, and I think you're wonderful. Let's go. What do we got? It's generating. Ooh, we got a fancy one. This is a very large island. It's got some orange grass, plenty of beach, and we've got these archways. I think these archways are so cool. Like, they look like the remains of old highways or something like that. Uh, like old overpass right here. Um, unfortunately, they're not that great to build on because they're very narrow. There's only certain types of things you can put there. This is a gold, uh, gold, Oh, what's the word for that? The thing that you mine. Gold seam, I guess? And you can eventually build a gold mine and a jeweler for the mansions. Um, this is a really lovely island. Um, but I am gonna have to stop it here because, believe it or not, I have I have relaxed and rambled my way through, through our entire time here. Um, so yeah, that's Islanders. It is it is on Steam now. It is it's got rave rave reviews. Everyone loves it, and you can see why. I think I think a lot of you folks who watch my channel, this is going to be the type of game that you're really going to enjoy. Um, so yeah, if if you're interested, uh, I'll put a link in the description. You can jump on over, take a look, maybe grab it for yourself or your loved ones. And you know, if you didn't like this one, you know that's all, that's all right. You don't have to like everything. Um, but do check back because I'm always doing new stuff. And I'll be back soon with something new, and that might just turn out to be your very favorite game of all time. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!